Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be showing y'all how I achieve my three go-to slick buns. Okay, so I'm starting this off by showing you all the products that I use to achieve these styles. You're gonna wanna have a spray bottle or some type of water nearby. Um, a gel, I'm using the Got To Be Ultra Glued Styling Gel. And then I'm also gonna use the Got To Be Glued Blasting Freeze Spray. These two together are the goats. And then I'm using a leave-in, that's the It's A Tin Miracle Leave-In. And then you wanna have a detangling brush as well as a wave or smoothing brush, whatever you like to call it. And you're definitely gonna need a comb because you have to part your hair for two of these styles. Okay, so now for the good part, you are gonna wanna start off with the spray bottle. Just spray your hair down, make sure that it's super soaked. Now I'm using the detangling brush to just smooth out everything. Make sure that I don't have any knots or tangles in there. And I'm just prepping for the actual styling part. I'm now adding some product to my hair. I am adding the It's A Tin Miracle Leave-In. And this will be the base for the other products that will come later. I want my hair to be as moisturized as possible. Y'all, looking back at this footage, I'm just like, China, what are you doing with your faces? Like, I was making the weirdest faces. Don't mind me at all. If y'all see me brushing my hair out or combing my hair out a lot, it's because my hair curls up so fast. And I like my hair in the front to be so smooth, like super smooth. So if I don't make sure that I'm getting out all the curls now, then later on when I add the gel and all the other products, then my hair is gonna start waving up instead of being smooth. So that's why. Okay, so here is one out of the two products that is gonna have my hair intact all day. It's the Got To Be Ultra Glued Styling Gel. And I'm just putting this into the areas that I'm gonna slick back into the bun before I found this gel y'all I was using eco styler that gel did nothing for me I would slick my hair back with the eco styler gel and within the next hour or so my hair was already frizzing up and just it was messed up like my edges would not stay nothing would stay with that gel so this gel is perfect as you can see I do not play about the smoothness of my hair when it comes to these buns i'm going back and forth between the smoothing brush and the that brush right there the black brush you are going to need ponytail holders for this style before i put it into the ponytail that i'm going to do i have to make sure that everything looks good and that everything is sleek enough for my liking but it wasn't so I had to go back in with the detangling brush and kind of smooth it a little bit and then I used the smoothing brush to just lay that flat so once it was smooth to my liking I just started to put it into a ponytail and I like to do my bun in two steps instead of just going straight into the bun because I noticed that when I try to do it all in one step the hair that I've already sleeked down starts to move and mess up and it just basically ruins what I've already worked hard to, you know, smooth down. So that's why I do it in two steps. Now that I have the ponytail in place, I go in with the Got To Be Free Spray and this really locks everything in. Like, I'm not playing. This spray is going to have your hair together. The combination of the gel and that free spray, man, let me tell you, like, I could wear this bun for days if I wanted to. All I would have to do is just go in, do a little bit of touch-ups, and I would be on my way. Nothing major, just effortless, get up out the bed and go. So now we've reached the bun part. So what I just do is twist the ponytail, twist it, twist it, twist it, and then I kind of wrap it around the hair. Y'all, I'm not good at explaining this type of stuff, but y'all can clearly see what I did and it was just that simple. It was kind of like a play on the ballerina bun, 
but yeah it's kind of like a little donut bun and if I notice that any part is sticking out and I'm not liking a certain portion I just go in with a hairpin and push it into the part that's sticking out this part is a must for me like I have to always go back in and do the finishing touches which is just spraying free spray on my edge brush that is solely used for my edges or just sleeking down any small portions of my hair so now we move on to the baby hairs and I like to start off by brushing them away from the hair that was already smoothed back so it just makes it easier for me to go in and swoop them without messing with anything else. I just start off with the middle baby hairs first and I'm just swoop it to the side. I wish that I could just push them to the back but I cannot unfortunately since they are my actual baby hairs. I always have to do them because if not, then it just looks a mess. Before I do my baby hairs, I do actually go in and wet my brush and then I spray it with the Got To Be Spray and this just makes them last so much longer. I have three swoops on each side and I just swoop it with the toothbrush and then follow behind it with my fingers to make sure that they're pressed down and they are not going anywhere unless I want them to. And the baby hair is just finished off the look. Okay, this is the final bun look. This is pretty much the easiest out of all three of them. And um, kind of like the beginner bun. I guess you can call it that. Um, the next two take a little bit more effort um, and a little bit more time. So we're just going to jump into it. Okay, so this is the middle part bun. I'm just going in with the comb and getting the part that I want. Since I did just take out the slick back bun, I am just going through the prepping process again, adding some more water to the hair so it is easier for me to manipulate the hair. Once I have gotten it detangled, I'm going through and getting my hair positioned to where I want it to go for this bun. As you can see, I'm kind of brushing it back at an angle. This will kind of snatch my face a little bit. I'm adding some more of that got to be gel into my hair and I don't have to add too much since I used the spray bottle to reactivate the gel from the first bun. I think by now y'all can tell how important it is to go back in between the brush, the comb, the smoothing brush. It's really important because those will help with getting out the tangles, just making sure everything is flat and nice. You see I'm going through with the comb in the back because that is the part that really limps up for me. I am doing the same technique as before. I'm going in with the ponytail first and then the bun. Sorry y'all, it goes blurry for a second and then it'll come back soon. This setup was so hard for me to film with because I was in my bathroom and my bathroom was so small. I had to figure out where to put my camera on the counter. It was just a lot, but I wanted to get this video done and out of there because I feel like I'm not the only one that loves buns. I'm always trying to find a new way to perfect the bun or a different type of bun to do. So I think this would be very helpful. I'm always YouTubing videos and stuff, so. I was like, why not make this video? Because honestly, these are not hard at all to do. For the bun portion, I just did the same bun as the one before, just a donut ballerina bun. And then I just feel for any pieces that are out of whack and I wanna get it together back there. So I just put a hairpin in there to get it to stick. And I'm just showing you how it looks from the side. 
I had to go back in with that spray bottle to spray down my edges because I told y'all that combination was not letting me move my edges at all. So I wanted to just go back in, make sure everything was still looking good. I don't know if it's just me or not, but if I don't do my baby hairs, then the style just does not look complete. Like it'll look very undone. Okay, so this is the second one. Like I said, it's um, like a step up above the, you know, the traditional slick back, straight back bun. Um, so it wasn't like too much harder, but it was, you know, a little bit harder because you had to get the part right and kind of like slick it back more towards this way at an angle. Um, and that was, as you can see, a little bit tricky. I had to go through a couple times with my brush to make sure that everything was like slick and there wasn't any bumps or lumps or anything because I do have problems with that. Doing my hair because my hair just wants to curl up. It doesn't want to stay straight, but using these products really, really helps. Um, I used to use Eco Styler. No, that didn't do it for me, baby. No way, Eco Styler did not keep my baby hairs down. It did not keep this down. Like by the end of the night, I think it's raining, by the end of the night, my um hair would be fuzzy i can wear this for like two days and it don't move it do not move so yeah that is the second hairstyle so yeah i'm gonna go in with the third and final look and let's do it we have made it to the last bun this is the side part bun i gave y'all options Sometimes people are real particular about their parts. I love me a good side swoop part bun. I love it. It's like I feel like it just brings everything up a couple notches. I was real focused during this part because I wanted to get the part nice and perfect, perfectly to the side. It took me a little longer to get that part right, but I finally got it and now I'm just going through the prepping process again. Just detangling, all that good stuff. Okay, so instead of going to the side with that kind of swooped area, I like to swoop it out some more so it's covering a little bit of my forehead. And this is kind of the hardest part of this bun because you gotta make sure that everything is just in place. As you can see in the front right there, my hair is kind of like creating a gap. So I go in with the toothbrush to slick it down and kind of bring it together. You'll see that in a second. But I hate when that happens. Like, come on. I just go in with the toothbrush and kind of place it how I want it to, get it to stick together, all that jazz, because I don't want to have like an empty spot making it look like I don't have no hair right there. I am using the Got To Be Spray and I am going in with the edge brush just to get those flyaways. And then the front part was bugging me even more so I had to go back in and try to fix that. I was just maneuvering it, manipulating it just to get it to stay straight and not make any gaps. Okay, so now I'm just showing you what it looks like before I go into the bun. I would even stop right here. Like, that was super cute. But I am going in with the bun. This is a different bun than the last two. 
It's more of a messy, effortless type of bun. It is easy and effortless, but it's still super cute. My baby hair has got a little messed up during this process, so I'm just going back in and perfecting it some more. Y'all, and shout out to the people that have mastered this voiceover stuff because this was not easy. Like, it was super nerve wracking, but we got it done. This is the final bun. Y'all, this took me too long. Like, come on now. I started off trying to do a different technique where I kind of separated this swoop part um, into its own section and um, put the back part in the ponytail first and then swooped this over. That just did too much. So I took it all out and I just did it all together and that made it so much easier. And I like this. Like, I think this is cute. And then the bun brought me back to my old days when I used to do these type of buns. When I was like in middle school. Just a super easy, like kind of messy bun. Um, just a different option from the first two buns that I did. Those were like simple kind of ballerina type buns. And then this one is just, you know, effortless, messy with pieces still hanging out. And I think it's super cute. It's giving. It's giving the vibes that I wanted it to give. Um, so, so this is it. I showed y'all three different buns, slick back, slick buns, whatever you want to call it. Um, just to give you more versatility on, you know, effortless. I don't want to say effortless, but on days when you don't want your hair down or, you know, just something simple to me. A bun with some edges, some baby hairs. Sorry, not edges because these are my baby hairs. I literally have baby hairs. These are my edges. Just something simple. I just throw on a bun when I don't feel like doing a wash and go and messing and fooling around with my hair when I don't want it down. And it's just super simple and I love the way this looks. Like, especially with the hoops. Like, super cute. I hope you guys enjoy this video and I hope you choose to recreate these styles. Um, don't forget to like comment please comment i love when people comment i'm sorry i have been so bad at commenting back to people but i'm going to do better i promise you i will um but i do see everyone's comments and i love getting comments like i love it so much just lets me know that you are here and you are watching or i don't know you can really say whatever you want in the comments i don't care um but just don't forget to like comment and subscribe i've gotten so many subscribers over the past couple days and i'm so grateful for that I want to make it to at least 500 soon. I don't know. My first little goal was 300. I made it to 300. And let me first start with 400. Let me, you know, baby steps. 400 next. Um, and then 500. But, yeah. So, thank you all for watching. And I will see y'all in my next video.